Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is about oscillations. This is the simple harmonic oscillations. We can see the quantity given is the mass of the object, right? And the period. It tells us it spring once every 0 0.55 seconds. So period is 0 0.55 seconds. And then we need to write the equation uh, about this uh, motion. So first thing, we know the motion must be cosine or sine, something like that, right? Now, the next one, let's see what the quantity gave us. It gave us the A amplitude. It say it start by being compressed. This amplitude, 0 0.16 meter from the balanced position. So it, it looks like it starts there, right? And this A is 0 0.16 meter. And for it start at the end, we know it's cosine function. Agree? So A cosine omega times T, A is get, so we need, need to find the omega next. How to find the omega? Omega is called angular velocity. So it, in one period, the angle moved 2 pi and time taking T. So in this way, we can get the angular velocity very easily there. And then we input the amplitude and omega inside, we get the function. The next one tells us how long will it take to get, go to to just reach the balanced position at first time. Because initially it is there. And finally we want it as a in, uh, balanced position. So we need to find the time from there to there. It looks like just one quarter of period. Agree? Yes. So in this case, just one quarter of the period. Very easy. Just a t over 4. We get the time 0 0.14 seconds. The next one asks you the maximum speed. It's a little bit difficult, but we can consider. See, for this simple harmonic motions, mechanical energy is conserved, agree? At the initial, this uh, uh, spring is compressed. This is called uh, elastic potential energy, right? And when it reaches to the best position, total energy converted to kinetic energy. Agree? So at zero, the potential energy is one half k a square. Agree? And at the in, uh, balanced position there, this one half m v max square. In this position is the max of the velocity because in this case there is only kinetic energy, no potential energy, right? And then we can solve this equation. We get the function for velocity max, V max. Now we get the term squared k over m. In the simple harmonic motions, this term just very easily omega, right? We learned in our test book angular velocity. And angular velocity can get as 2 pi over t. 2 pi over t. Then we input the angular velocity omega inside and the amplitude inside. We get answer there. The next one asks you to find the maximum acceleration. So for this simple harmonic motions, where is the maximum acceleration? At the end, agree? Because the net force is the elastic force, Kx, right? As this p part, it is become Ka. This elastic force is Ka. Newton's second law equal to mass times acceleration, right? So if the, this uh, displacement is uh, maximum A, this acceleration will be maximum, right? So maximum acceleration, equal, we solve it equal in equal this function, k over m times A, and then k over m omega squared. And then we input omega inside, amplitude inside, get the final answer there. Thank you.